what you're saying, Pastor Donna, is um, communication connects people, and and so cleaning up the the communication so that more of the Holy Spirit can be between people, bind us together, demonstrate the love of of God, is significant. But um, I'm going to come in from putting the squeeze on both parties because. Um, when someone communicates, there's obviously a, a receiving end of it, and it's easy for the other dimension is to stay silent. But I'm going to take what, what James said, um, talking about the tongue being set on fire. I want to tell you about the damage that silence does when you don't speak. And no one here can say, well, I just don't need to do this because I'm just not a communicator. Uh, I come out of a deaf and dumb spirit in my generations. And deaf and dumb shuts down the power of the tongue and internalizes it. You have tons of thoughts. You're all there. But the fire goes down inside. You're, you're stuck either way, right? Like you you got to clean this up both sides. And so we, we joke around and just say, well, I'm going to let someone do my talking. We'll have an errand for us. Or um, <clears throat> I'll just let that person talk more because that's just the way they are. And then we just kind of get in ruts that for those that are on the silent or being tempted to be silent, I want to tell you, evil spirits want to shut you down. And I know I'm, I'm speaking probably to a segment so that no one's without exception here. I don't think everybody has to just be verbose. We just all have to be of the Spirit. So here's a Psalm, Psalm 32. It says, when I kept silent, my bones waxed old. We talked about how the tongue, it controls our whole body. So it isn't just what comes out. Sometimes it's what isn't coming out will also affect your body. The bones, the immune system. And so I just want to encourage... Um, it could, it's, it's not so much gender-based here, but it, it could be, gentlemen, that there's a pattern. In order to stay safe, I'm just giving you some insider trading information here. In order to stay safe, you're, you stay over quiet. You're too silent. And the conviction of the Holy Spirit is that he wants you to face a fear, to let your heart be heard through your mouth, through to people. What if people really know your heart? If they don't know your heart, if you're not communicating from your heart, we talk about how as your soul prospers, look, look, look this is a, your tongue is an extension of your soul. So to not let your heart be heard through your mouth, your body responds. The Lord holds us accountable to reflect the second member of the Godhead. God, the Word. If you have a struggle to communicate from your soul things that are meaningful, Start first with him by the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit, pray in the language, so building yourself up in your most holy faith with him. And then you'll see, oh, you know what? Talking with people, it's, it's not as intimidating as it is trying to talk with God. You know, God just greases the skids by praying in the Spirit. He gets you past your own understanding. Don't get locked up in your mind what I need to say or not say, because when you're first speaking from the Spirit, it, it generates a way to communicate from your soul that, that follows your spirit. I, I hope that makes sense. So the one thing, and I'm done with this, Pastor Henry for years would say, and just put this little cliche, because it's a scripture, but I never did the deep dive on it. It says, there are many thoughts, none without signification. That sounds like calculus. But it just means there's tons of thoughts and all of them have significance. 
That's a lot of work to take in another person's thoughts on top of mine, layer them, mix them, and then assimilate it and make sure I come up with a good response within a nanosecond. That's why you need the Holy Spirit. That's why you cannot be tortured by a deaf and dumb spirit to mess with you. It will shut you down, and you got to turn on that thing, folks. It's a violent spirit. It hates you. It does not want you to stay awake. It shuts down your soul from being loving. It's about loving, receiving the love of God, and turning it around and giving it to others when you open your mouth.